Hello and welcome to this Minecraft 1.13 SMP episode from the Lionheart Dynasty. I hope you're right. I hope you're right. Well, I say 1.13 Minecraft, but actually what I mean is 1.13.1 Minecraft. We have updated the server. It's very shiny and uh, I think we have better FPS and I finished off the lighthouse over there. Now guys, today we are going to go over behind me and we're going to uh, try and figure out a little bit of a different Minecraft 1.13 Guardian Farm and no drain Guardian Farm. I know I built one on uh, Prismarine Bay, uh, but I have been sort of learning from that and I'm going to build a different one. <laughs> well, it's, it's the same basic principle, but uh, I have some changes to implement, I think. We're going to test them out and see how that goes. Now I need to stop moving like this, I'm going to walk into something. Or something like that. I hope you're alright guys and I hope that you have had a great week. Now I have some things to tell you before we begin. Okay? Uh, on Saturday, that means tomorrow guys. That's the wrong farm. Tomorrow I will be streaming along with many of the others on the server from the Lionheart server. We're gonna have a, a chain stream you might call it and on the screen Right about now, you should be able to see um, when the times are, and also it's on different platforms and all that sort of stuff, so you need to keep up, guys. Keep up. Pause the screen now. <laughs> and note down. And as you can see on there, I will be streaming at 5 p.m. CST. I guess that's Central Standard Time. Uh, what that means in British Summertime or in British time anyway, is uh, 11 or so, I think it is, <clears throat> at night, so 11 p.m., 2300 hours. Didn't I just sleep? Yes, I did. This uh, this uh, sleep thing is is um, is weird. Anyway, so uh, go to my channel at that time, and you will see me stream on the Halloween island, I think maybe the Halloween island, <laughs> it's, it might be over there, and uh, yeah, that'll be great, guys. We are going to build, uh, we have an island uh, specially dedicated to Halloween things. And we're going to be build, uh, building there all day, basically. And by the time I come on, there should be got some pretty cool things to look at. But I'm going to continue with the main house, if it's not finished. Other than that, I have some ruins planned. And maybe, if nobody has done it so far, a graveyard. So... A while back on uh, a stream, we, me and Haphazardous Waste, uh, attacked this uh, ocean monument. And I've been a little bit busy here digging out the main room here. Over here, we still have a little bit of water here in the, in the uh, sort of, uh, uh, don't shoot me, <laughs> in the arms here. Uh, but I think the main exit is somewhere, where is the main exit? Here, here it is. Yep, uh, so it's here. So, my idea, basically, guys, my idea is to uh, build the farm here, just the same as we did on um, Prismarine Bay. Uh, so, we're going to basically, I think, go from those corners there, or possibly those corners there. Yes, yes. So, this area here is going to be the basin. We're going to go down a fair few blocks, down to maybe here, and then cap it off. <clears throat> and then, uh, we're going to look at what's different in this farm. So... I don't have the best materials for this, I'm sure. It's not going to look as snazzy as it did on uh, Pressmarine Bay. But uh, hopefully it'll function a little bit better and give us the Pressmarine we need. And the reason I need this farm, by the way, guys, a very specific reason, and that is that we need these blocks. The Dark Pressmarine, okay? And they are hard to get uh, hold of because there isn't too many in the monument and you need these charred things, which, uh, yeah, I don't have them on me, but you know what I mean, the drops from the guardians in order to make them. And the other thing we need is lamps, of course, but primarily, actually, is the dark prismarines. Anyway, let me um, let me start this off a little bit and we will uh, talk more about the farm in a minute. Look at that, guys, so many of them, look. Oh, my dear days. Well, that's because they have nowhere else to spawn, really. <laughs> Okay, so here's what we got so far. I've um, removed some stuff and uh, uh, sealed the entrance, although I'm not exactly sure that I 
have this rightly figured out now because uh, it looks wonky here but uh, yeah the idea is to have water of course here and then i think on and this is going to be like the floor level there's going to be magma blocks here same as on the other farm and um, then there's going to be a two gap and then up here we're going to have uh, fences fence gates and then water above right so the idea is they fall down here onto the magma blocks Actually, now that I think about it, there might not be magma blocks here. That might be my, my, a figment of my imagination. I think there'll be water here flowing them to this place here. And I'm going to create like a, yeah, like a drop there. And then there's going to be some sort of killing mechanism down there. Yeah, that's the whole idea, really. So um, it's, it's, kind of, uh, it's kind of tricky to build these things because you have to go down here. And as you can see... <laughs> Man alive, I don't think I've ever seen as many guardians in one place as there. Uh, <laughs> so that actually bodes well though for the farm, because I think if they can, and so if there's water inside here, it's more likely they will spawn inside than outside there. Because those guys must have spawned outside of the entrance, so with open air above them. So yep, yeah, that's 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 how it is. But I think this is wonky. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, like this, right? Yep, so we have the killing chamber down here. That's fine, I think. Now I'm starting to think about where to put these here fence gates. And I think this is the right height. I'll explain why when I put this row in place. So uh, there's going to be water here. So um, above the water, I would like to have two blocks and then the fence gates. Because otherwise, I suspect that some of these, these uh, jolly fellas might jump up again into the water. And that would be annoying. So, hmm. Now the thing is, there is a drawback to this farm compared to the other one, and I'm not sure this is going to be more efficient, really. Um, and th that drawback is basically that in the other farm, I had magma blocks down here, which pulled the guys down. And that's not going to happen now. So, hmm, I don't know. <laughs> we'll have to see. Maybe I'll skip the fence gates in the end and just make it all water with my magma blocks, and then... Just have them fall down into here randomly. Hmm. I have to try it out. It's not that much uh, work, I don't think, to, to sort of change the setup. Um, so I think we can probably do that if we want to. Although, of course, it is a bit of a hassle. But for now, you know what, guys? For now, I just want something where I can just uh, park myself overnight, basically, and <laughs> get blocks. Because uh, I am in dire needs, fellas. I'm in dire needs. Slight sidetrack, guys. I died and lost everything. <laughs> Darn it. Oh, so I was checking out something in creative mode, trying around in a different window, uh, some things, and I was logged in. A guardian must have come and killed me, and I didn't think to look. So when I got back there, all my stuff was gone. Oh, darn it. Okay, well, so... Yeah, we'll see if we can continue with this today, but uh, what we need to do now is we need to get our gear in order. I have um, some uh, reserve gear on my person at, now, at the moment, but now I need to go and... <laughs> uh, I don't know, I need to go and try and find 
some enchanted books and some enchantments and some this and that and we need to buy some stuff and yep. Darn it. <laughs> Alright guys, let's look, let's look at what we got. Let's look. We got uh, these boots. These boots are really shiny. Uh, it's a combination of books and uh, a good uh, sort of initial enchantment there with Unbreaking and Section 4. So that's what we got. We got an Elytra that only has Mending on it. I don't have any Unbreaking books, so that's missing on a fair few things. However, the Turtle Shell Helmet is alright. It's missing Aqua Affinity. Which could be a problem, but it's got Unbreaking, Protection, Respiration 3, and Mending. Uh, our trousers are, well, they got un Unbreaking, so that's alright, I suppose. The sword is alright, does not have Unbreaking, but Sweeping Edge and Sharpness. Nor does it have Looting or Fire Aspect, or whatever it's called, which I really like to have on my swords. And Knockback, it doesn't have Knockback either, but it's alright, I suppose. Um, okay, Axe. Bit of a shame that, that it got Silk Touch on it, but fair enough. Um, okay, Shovel. And a Silk Touch Efficiency 5 Mending Pickaxe, which means that we can put away our Cobble Gen again. Uh, it doesn't have Unbreaking, so yeah, I am in, in quite dire need here of Unbreaking books. <laughs> so I don't know, we need to fix that somehow, like as a server. We need an Unbreaking 3 Villager or something like that. Anyway guys, let's get back. Anyway, actually, before we do that, look at this. <laughs> so I think Super Turtle built this. Um, it's from some game or another that I don't know anything about. So let me know what it is in the comments. Looks great though. <laughs> I love the eyes. It's just staring at us like a lemon. Also, I love the teeth and of course the boogie. A little bit of a snot thing here going on. <laughs> oh my gosh, today is just not my day, is it? I, d I just had a creeper blow up here right next to me. I was just standing here peacefully, as always, looking in my ender chest, planning some things out. And he just, oh my gosh. He scared the bejesus out of me as well. Anyway, we need glass, guys. <clears throat> I think there's glass somewhere here, maybe? No, okay. This thing is working excellently. I've used this quite a, bo uh, quite a bit. And um, I don't think I showed off this build properly, so here we go. Lighthouse. Modern Viking, Neo-Viking style. There's not much Neo-Viking in it, I, I admit. But it looks really cool, though. Um, and it really stands out compared to the quite rustic harbor down here. So this is like the old harbor. And uh, now they've built that. I don't know why exactly. Maybe because they want to point out that over here is a big old thing you can drive under with big ships. If you if we just fix that up and I guess I'm gonna build some sort of tower on that side as well later on then it's like two towers and then you can drive in between underneath the bridge pretty cool yep anyway let me fix this creeper hole and get some glass okay okay guys this is not something you see every day a skeleton horse inside on under the water 
Just waiting for me. Oh, my days, it scared me. Uh, he was just out here somehow. Well, I guess that makes sense. But now I'm almost dead again. Yes, yes. Life is hard at the moment, guys. Really, really hard. So the only positive uh, that to come out of this... Um, to come out of this debacle, guys, is that I finally have... Oh, actually, I have blocks. I, I finally know what I want to do with this farm. Okay, so that's a good thing, isn't it? So... What? Oh, okay. Next. You just do that then, man. We need to expand this way a little bit here. Wow, did you see that? Um, oh, stop it. Did you see that? Gravel fell. That's pretty interesting. Um, yeah, so this should be enough, probably. Right, and then if we dry this out, uh, we can have an up and down here. Uh, in point of fact, I probably need to do that. Anyway, let me. Be, I, I, I'm sure we're running late in this episode or long, so let me just build this thing, and I will explain myself. Ah, look at this, guys! I was so smart. I took my light and my trousers off before I died. Oh, I'm a genius! And my shovel. Oh, that makes me happy. Oh, my days. Okay, so this is the farm, guys. Now oh, I need to remove that. I need to place in all the, um, the these things and open them. Uh, but before I open them, I need to place water all along up here. And then the water is going to run down. That's pushing the guardians downwards onto this place here. And then we need to have water streams here. And we need to have signs like here in a row on both of these sides. And uh, then they're going to fall down here and get pushed towards here. Now, I'm not sure how I'm going to kill them in the end, guys. But, um, you know, if I have looting three, I'm thinking that initially I'm going to actually kill them manually. But we'll see how that goes, of course. Now, I might want to have a little bit more of a drop here to just drop them down. We could have lava blades here on the sides as well, I suppose. Um, you know, we can have one here, maybe, and one here, and so on. We'll figure that out as we go along. I just want to sort of get this uh, the basics up and running here. Oh, I'm so happy I found my elytra. Oh my days. That is uh, that is pure bliss, guys. Okay, now let's put that away. Like that. Okay, yeah. So other than that, the farm is really boring, actually. It's just prismarine. And then I thought I'd uh, make this glass so we can see what's going on. What What's going on with you, man? Could you please die and drop all your things? Yes, thank you. Um, yeah, so that's how we are. Oh, Elytra. I don't know how much you can see, but I've covered all the uh, roof here now with, with uh, blocks, one below. I'm going to try <laughs> now to fill it with water. It's so funny to have these skeleton horses here. I think that's awesome. Ow, 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 ow. I'm dying, I'm dying, I'm dying, I'm dying, I'm dying. Very much so. Oh dear. Yeah, this is not easy to do. <laughs> I seem to have some troubles with it. But, yeah, we shall persist. Yeah, my idea here anyway, right, is to try and... I don't know why this block is there, but... Yeah. Is to try and go in from the top here, somehow. Uh, well, like that, basically. I don't know what sort of uh, source box this will create, actually, if we take away the whole entire roof here. I don't know. I don't know. But uh, I have buckets with me anyway, so I'm going to go here and um, do that. That. That should have created the source blocks on those three. Then I should be able to just grab water from up here. <laughs> Replace the blocks as I go, and hopefully that'll work. Alright, I think that is done now. Um, I'm hoping now we have this uh, this row out here on the edge as well. I need to fill in, do that sort of manually. Uh, but we'll first test this out and see that this uh, the rest of it here seems to work fine. This is looking good, you know. If we stand out here where there is no streaming water, you can see that all of the water is flowing downwards. And well, I guess you can see it from in here as well. And I think we're done with the water. Now all we need to do, I think, is to go around here like this and open all the tra all the uh, not the trap doors the uh, fence gates and of course i am a little bit uh, ocd so i want them open all the same direction so that 
fails to happen for some reason, I will go back and redo it. But uh, it shouldn't be a problem, really. Now, the thing is, I have um, sort of indented all the water streams one block. I'm not sure now that that's such a good idea, because I think the Guardians, first of all, can get in there. And second of all, when we by the time we get to here, they will flow really slowly. So I might redo that and just move that all that in one block. That probably is a good idea. Well, 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 testing will reveal if that's a good idea or not. If they seem to get stuck in there, or if it takes forever for them to fall over the edge here, I'll go in and do it that. But I think that's about it for this farm. For now, anyway. We will return and refine it later on. But uh, yeah, let's have a look at it in action, guys. Okay, let's see here. I, uh, I've i been going around on the outside here where it's still watery and killing off the Guardians. And I think there might be... Yeah, look at this, guys. A ton of them in here. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. But I can't kill them like this. This is going to not work in the long run. <laughs> oh, and now, and now I can't reach them either. Oh, excellent. <laughs> yeah but oh man this is fun I like this so how about we put trapdoors here maybe oh wow and quickly and then we eat <laughs> oh days oh my days so I can hit them from here now but of course this is super dangerous I'm gonna have to think about this one but okay so the farm works very well, I would say. Excellent stuff. Excellent stuff. I think that's going to have to be all that we have time for today. It took a lot longer than I thought because I died and all that sort of stuff. But yeah, don't forget, guys. Don't forget the stream on Saturday at 5 CST or 11 BST or British time anyway. Uh, I don't even know if it's summertime or wintertime at the moment. And yeah, so hopefully I will see you then. If not, I will see you maybe on Sunday when I'm also streaming from Lionheart. Or maybe in next week. <laughs> Until then. Bye.